Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the top three things you can be doing in winter to set your business up for success in 2022. Now, my goal in this video and all my content is to help you win. Growcom, help you win. Everything that we provide that's free, the podcast, YouTube, is all to help you win. So if you've liked any of that stuff, if you could pay a small fee of, of giving a like on this video, subscribing, sharing this with anybody you think it might help. But let's cut to the chase. Let's get right into this. The top three things you can do to have better success in your business in 2022. Number one. This is crucial. I talk about it time and time again. This is something that you have to do and you have to get better at and you have to continuously evolve and change. And that is getting to know your numbers. You've always heard me talking about budgeting, about knowing your man hour rate, but you need to if you don't already get to know your numbers. So this comes to creating a budget, figuring out those rates. What do I charge hourly to recoup my overhead, to recoup the, the equipment, all these different things. And being familiar with those allows you to have confidence when you're bidding. Now, with that being said, if you've already done this and you're saying, Jacob, that's irrelevant, I already know this. Now I am calling you to update that. Every year this changes. Your costs change, the climate change, the, the whole world changes, the environment changes, the, the business scene, the industry changes. As of right now, with the, every crazy thing that's going on in the world, costs have raised dramatically. I, I got the second hand, so I, I might not be exactly right here, but Jim Houston wrote an article in Lawn and Landscape that basically said, if your rates have not been raised by a little over 10%, you won't even be equal to where you were the following year with how much stuff is raised. So you always need to be updating your budget, updating your numbers yearly. So getting to know your numbers today is not knowing your numbers for eternity. You have to get to know your numbers and then reinform yourself on those numbers, warm back up to those numbers, verify that those numbers are still good, set new budgets, realize what your new costs have became, realize what's going on in the market today, are things different, have, have gas prices went through the roof, has, has material changed a lot. And then in that number portion, look at where you could have holes in the bucket. One that we just feel, filled that we realized and we recently talked about on the podcast was materials. We have Site One and other large companies saying prices are good for a week. We have stone suppliers saying prices are good for 24 hours. Okay, now is the time for you to implement something in your pricing, in your agreement, in your terms of service. Terms of service is key here. I don't care who you are, what you say. If you don't think having a terms of service is like serious in running your business, you're wrong. It needs to be in there. And you need to have things like this in your terms of service and upfront for your clients. And some kind of verbiage stating that pricing is changing radically all the time. So if you're in a project-based company, you need to be able to say, just because I sold you the price four months ago, or project four months ago, price has escalated. We need to charge for the addition. We can't lose money all year long just to buy to that contract. We have to remain profitable to be able to continue offering awesome services. I know my company in 2021 probably didn't do the best on all, all products all the time because it was happening so fast that we didn't keep on pace with raising prices. So and that's where we've shifted to on our purchase orders. If they don't match, we've got verbiage in there where we've, we're educating clients where we may have to charge more for products. And the world is coming to this and the world understands this because this is what's happening. Home builders. Escalation causes, doesn't matter. If material goes up, you pay for it. That's what they have to do to remain profitable. In business, the sole purpose here is to be profitable, to turn a profit. If you can't turn a profit, your company will die. Money is oxygen. Money is oxygen in your lungs. And if you don't have oxygen in your lungs, you're not gonna last long. The other thing in this climate to know is raising prices right now, everyone is expecting this, okay? Everyone is looking at their notifications, seeing that, hey, there's gonna be a price increase. Netflix, increased price. Gas, higher. All of your food, higher. C consumer goods, up 6%. Like, things are, and I don't know if that number's exact, I'm pretty sure it's close. There's too many numbers to watch in the world. So you gotta be in touch with what you can be in touch with, right? 
but people are expecting this. You know, what we've seen from our client base is most of them are asking what are what's 2022 pricing look like? These people are expecting adjustments. So that's number one, know your numbers and then update, learn, warm back up to those numbers, do that year on year and year and year. And I mean, even evaluate this stuff quarterly based on is the market volatile like it is right now? Are things radically changing all the time? Now, number two, CRM. If you don't have a CRM, this is the time. You've got a little bit of time, hopefully in your area. It's not like it is here in Florida where it just goes 24 seven and you've got a little bit of time to focus on the things that make your business better in 2022. One of the big ones is for sure a CRM. It's been game changing in our business for so many reasons. Now, what I love about a CRM is that it allows you to make better decisions because it collects data. If you're using it well, you're using it as a data collection tool to help know I should spend marketing money there. I shouldn't spend marketing money here. I made money on that job. I didn't make money on that job. So we're learning how and where to market more efficiently. We're learning how and what needs to be changed on our estimates by data collection from our employees inputting stuff on a tablet. This is huge. If you don't see how critical that is in your company, it's helping you know your numbers and be better at your numbers, and it's helping you organize better. It's helping you look more professional in 2022. This game, being professional, running a business in our industry, you stick out like a sore thumb when you're very, very professional because a lot of people don't take it that serious. So go above and beyond. Leverage technology. It's here, it's available. now. One thing that I want to pressure you to find, this is why we've loved Service Autopilot for so long, is Service Autopilot also has like a, a really robust email platform inside of it. So I would suggest that you look for a CRM that has the ability to market within it. So there's a lot of cool automations, email marketing, things we can do with Service Autopilot because this plays into a bigger plan that we're not even gonna talk about right now that you should be doing, it's outside of my top three, but your actual marketing plan. But this is the tool that helps you improve your marketing plan year on year on year by knowing where all your leads are coming from and getting reports on all of your leads. But knowing if you're gonna pick one of these, if you don't have one yet, if you're gonna be picking one, it needs to be able to do bulk marketing. You need to be able to email thousands of clients at a time based off of Okay, yeah, they don't have fertilizer. Let's educate them about fertilizer. Okay, they haven't had stonework. Let's educate them about stonework. Hey, there's a big insect issue going on in the world today. Uh, everybody had army worms in 2021. Education time. Email marketing is not just about blast, 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 ask, ask, ask. It's about educate, 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 then maybe ask. So, hey, let's send out educational emails about what's going on right now. If you have this, this, and this problem in your lawn, this may be what you have, here's how to diagnose it, here's some information, here's what they look like, education, 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 bring value, bring value, bring value, and then that will return to you. So I think that your CRM definitely needs, and I take that back, I don't think, I know that if you're gonna pick a CRM, it needs that. And I am going to pressure you today to stop looking down at your shoes when you pick shit for your fucking business. I need a CRM, I got a small business and I wanna run it. Start looking at what you wanna build. Do you wanna just run your business a little bit better today? Or when you have, now not everybody wants this, maybe you just wanna be a solo operator, and I'm not knocking that, but if you wanna have 30 trucks on the road and 4,000 accounts, look at something that's going to scale to that, not something that it works for today, then I gotta to jump to a different CRM, then I gotta to jump to a different CRM, because that is a shit ton of work and wasted time. If you wanna grow and you wanna expand, the least amount of changes you can make in your software, the more robust of a software you can find that it can allow you to go from where you are today to where you wanna go in the future, the better. So pick something that works and it better have some kind of marketing structure in it and even better, it better have automation so you can do some really, really cool stuff, follow up and keep your clients better formed. Because remember, it's a service company. It's all about serving your client. The better you serve, the more value you bring. Now, number Three, this is going to be huge. We're gonna be releasing the course on landscaping estimates in Growcom. It's getting edited right now. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Hopefully in a week to two weeks, it's gonna release. But for you that are not in Growcom, simplify your estimates. 
Number three, you need to be able to produce more estimates faster. This doesn't matter if you're starting out, if you're solo, or if you've got a bigger company. Streamline your estimates, okay? Make them as easy as possible so they are replicatable. Even if it's just you doing estimates so you can produce more faster, so you can do it more effectively, so you can be more on point, knowing that, oh cool, that estimate, it creates everything I need, I can get the numbers to the client in, in minutes, even on a big job, I can create purchase orders from there, I can create the video documents for my team to be able to grow and, and do the project correctly so it's exactly the way the client wanted it. Get it simplified, take out the BS, take out offering 62 landscape light fixtures, take out offering every color in the Unilock book for pavers, simplify. Choices don't help you sell stuff. Choices add indecision. If you're gonna do pavers, here's the three that we provide. And these are the colors. Here's the three colors, here's the three styles. Done. Not everything in the book. Hey, you wanna do landscape lighting? We only offer one up light and one path light. And then maybe if somebody makes a special request, we can go above and beyond that. But I can tell you, I will sell 100 times more projects than if I hand someone the book for FX Luminaire, Kitchler, Vista, Unique, whatever. I'm gonna sell a lot more because I just hand them confusion. Nobody knows what the fuck they want when you look at a book with hundreds of options. Be the professional, limp the options to what you're best at installing, what's available in your area, so you can provide them the best service. You can do it quickly, you can repeat it, and you can know your numbers even better. So simplify your estimates. Everything from the way you do them so more people can do them, breaking things down like, hey, prepping a bed, how much does that cost per square foot? So I can create a calculator, like create calculators so you can easily calculate the stuff and you can give people numbers on site. I give you a $7,000 lighting quote on site, emailed it on site an hour ago. That was a finished estimate with notes, with description, with a purchase order ready to be created for the team to then go and install. The video had been uploaded to Google Drive so our team knows what to do and the office has the process that has been simplified so that once that estimate gets accepted, that video will be viewable by the team. So nothing else needs to be said, nothing else needs to be done. Everyone is informed, everything is done, and the client is served. So these are three huge points. If you wanna know more, leave it in the comments below. If there's anything on these three points, you can add. If you wanna know more about Growcom, check it out. It's closed right now. Um, I'm not sure when it's gonna open back up. These are the kind of topics we talk about in Growcom. We talk about making stuff easier, how to do it faster, how to do it better, how to scale, how to grow your business. These three things, if you can hone in on just those, it's gonna make you win in 2022.